I've got three key focus areas that I want you to start paying attention to so that you can overcome the overwhelm. Being a business owner can be incredibly overwhelming. We can run out of thinking space. We can constantly feel like we're chasing our tails and running out of time. So we need to focus on a few, three simple things that will help free up your time, free up your mental load, and just help you feel a little bit more calm about running your business. The first thing I want you to do is delegate. Delegate, delegate, delegate. Now, I know that what you are doing is you are holding things close to your chest. You are insisting on doing things yourself. That's understandable. You have spent a lot of time and a lot of energy building this business of yours and you are so scared that if you hand the reins to somebody else to do whatever task, they're going to stuff it up. What you need to do is show them how you do the thing, trust them to give it a go, and then coach them around how to do it better if they don't quite do it to the standard that you would like. Forget trying to make people do the things the same way that you would do them because each person should have their own style. That's okay. Remember, no one's going to love your business as much as you do, so they're going to do it in their own way, not in your way. Just like nobody's going to care for your kids in the same way that you do. But that doesn't mean they're going to do a bad job, right? So delegate and trust that people on your team are there for a reason and they're going to give things a go. And they'll do their best. And if they don't know how to do something, encourage them to ask questions. Encourage them to seek guidance on how to shape their behavior to be closer to what you want the end result to look like. Okay, number two, static diary. I cannot talk about this enough. You need to have some simple structures in your working week so that you know what you're doing on a Monday morning versus a Thursday afternoon. You've got a rough idea of when you've got time to meet with your team and when you've got time to think about the future, the future, future vision, vision. It's gonna say forward vision and future vision future vision of your business. It's really key that you have time in your diary where you are uninterruptible. I call that untouchable time. I didn't come up with that phrase and I apologize to the person who did because I cannot remember his name, but I did read a great article about a year ago that talked about untouchable time and it never left me because it's such an important concept that I was already doing that didn't have a name for. This is where you go to a coffee shop and turn your phone off and sit with your pen and paper and scribble out all the ideas you've got for your business, scribble out a map to how you might achieve these things and make sure nobody interrupts you. It can be an hour, it can be three hours, it can be a whole day, whatever it is that you need. You might put regular blocks of untouchable time into your week so that you know you've got time to focus on the things that you, as the owner of your business, need to focus on. You might also schedule quarterly strategic thinking days, untouchable days. So it might be once a quarter, once every couple of months, you've got a day or at least half a day where you are alone with your ideas and mapping where you're heading in the future. And knowing that you've regularly got that time to look forward to, Again, it creates a pressure release valve so that you're not so constantly feeling overwhelmed under the pump and like it's never going to end. Okay. The third thing I want you to get smart with is your use of technology. Now, there are some really awesome apps that I use that have been complete game changers for how I do things. One is the Focus app. So if I want to do something like, say I want to really nut out a problem and I keep allowing myself to get distracted by my email or my Facebook or whatever else, I will set a timer using the Focus app 
and that will count backwards for 20 minutes. It gives me a deadline. And you know how efficient you can be when you're working to a deadline? I can't have a break until the 20 minutes is up. I can't look at anything else until the 20 minutes are, are up. And you wait how productive I, and see, just see how productive you get in that last five minutes. You can set, uh, these are called Pomodoro style apps and, and they're backward counting timers to keep you focused. They have, you can set it up so that you've got a chunk of time. It might be 20 minutes, might be 10 minutes, might be 30 minutes, whatever's right for you. And then you schedule in a little break, like a mini break for a couple of minutes and then you can do another chunk. So you're breaking up your concentration time into achievable chunks for you. And then uh, you get a big break after whatever period of time you determine is long enough. I think the next app that I have found incredibly useful for me has been an app called Voxer. Now, I have I have no affiliation with any of these apps. I just use them and I'm sharing this knowledge with you. Um, Voxer has been a game changer for me and my team because my team have come to realise that I am hopeless with speedy replies to email. But if they send me a voice message on Voxer, I will Voxer them back as soon as I notice it's there. So you can, Voxer is, it's like a walkie talkie. Someone says something, you respond. Someone can text you as well in Voxer and you can respond verbally. So it's actually quite flexible. Doesn't require you to both be available at the same time, which makes it easier than a phone call. And it doesn't require, you know, the sitting down and the perfect crafting of the perfect email and then the other person perfectly crafting the perfect reply. It's just quick and easy. So my team will ring me and say, hey Tess, um, I don't know, we're out of photocopy of paper. Do you mind if I go to Officeworks and get some more? They don't ask me those questions. They handle that themselves, but you know, that's what came to mind. Or, hey Tess, I've got a client coming in an hour. Um, I've just um, been advised that they've had a death in the family. How do you think I proceed with, the, with this session? And I will respond back. And I might even say to them, you know what, I've got half an hour free, give me a call and we can talk this through together. If they'd sent me an email, I might not have noticed it. So it's created a much easier flow of communication between me and my team. It's allowed my team to feel that I'm accessible anytime they really need me. And it's also helped them realize that they don't always need me specifically. Um, so they've become much more um, comfortable with a casual approach to communication with me. And they use me when they need me and they use someone else on the team when they need someone else on the team because they're all on Voxer now. So it's made that communication within the team really effective. I use the same app for my mentoring clients. My high-end mentoring clients are allowed to box me and uh, they make use of that when they need me for certain things as well. So there are other apps that you can play around with and that are aimed at helping you to be more efficient. Uh, things like um, jobs list apps like Trello or Asana or Monday.com. Play around with whichever one of those suits you if you want to stay focused and you can get your team involved so that projects within your business get completed on time and productively with everyone being able to easily communicate with each other um, to get those jobs done. Now a radical concept, I know this is going to really scare you, a radical concept, you can, you're allowed you're allowed to delete the email app from your phone. If you find that email is the thing that trips you over, delete the app and go back to the idea of your static diary and block in time in your day when you check email. If you like, you can even have an auto reply on your email that says, I check emails at 10 and four. If you need me outside of these times or if you need me urgently, please call the office or call my PA or call someone else. <laughs> if you have a PA, you can get them to filter your emails and provide you with a summary of what's come in. They can filter your emails into different folders for you. They can give you an overview of what's coming in the day and they can voxer you when there's something urgent that you need to attend to. So these are examples of how you can use technology to your advantage. You can delete anything off your phone. You don't have to keep it there if it's a distraction. So you might say, okay, email gone from my phone. I only use email on my laptop and I can use it as often as I like, but I have to go to the laptop to do it. That's going to save your bacon at the end of the day. 
Now this is another part of your time management that I want you to think about is quarantining time for your family and quarantining time for you because you've earned it. I don't want you to burn out. You work bloody hard. I know how hard you work because I do too. I want you having time that's just for you. For me, I've structured that early in the morning. I go for a walk on the beach. Beautiful time of day. It's a new habit for me. Not so good this week, but generally speaking, new habit for me. And it gets me in the right frame of mind to kickstart my day. That's my me time, my thinking time, my walking along to a bit of a beat time as well as well while I'm at it. But do what you need to do. It might be a monthly massage as well. It might be a, a coffee with a friend. It might be a date with your partner. It might be one-on-one -on -one time with your kids. Whatever it is, don't be afraid to book it into your diary because what is planned happens. What's scheduled happens. At least that's how it should work, right? Finish time. Now, business owners, this is so important. When do you down tools? If you've got email on your phone, if you're like me, big part of my business work is on social media. I've got the social media apps on my phone. When do you stop? So I have, I have an iPhone. So in iPhones, you have the capacity to have um, do not disturb time. So I am not disturbable between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. I'm often in bed by 9.30 because I get up so early. Um, and so my first thing I do in the morning is um, 5.30 in the morning usually. I will spend the first 20 minutes or so just quickly scanning through anything important that I've missed overnight. Um, but I'm gone. From 9.30, I'm in bed and I'm gone. So I will revisit important things the next morning. And I think on that note, decide for yourself what's important. Other people's emergencies, other people's poor time management, they shouldn't be your emergency unless you determine that it is, okay? And that's where things like mon limiting your email accessibility, limiting your after-hours phone contact. You cannot ring me after 7 p.m. Well, you can, but I won't answer the phone because it's on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> I go to bed with my phone on silent so that I'm not disturbed by notifications from things. Okay, these are simple, simple tools, right? But we often overlook the really simple and the really basic. These are the things I want you focusing on to help you reduce that sense of overwhelm, reduce, uh, increase a sense of, of control, a sense of ownership of your time so that you are in the driver's seat. Again, it's about that CEO mindset. You are the boss. You get to call the shots. You get determined to determine when you knock off for the night, when you start your day. Getting back to the idea of static diary, perhaps shift your day. So you start your working day at say 8 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. to get on top of the, the annoying things like the emails and all that sort of stuff and then finish your day earlier. Finish your day at 3.30, 4 o'clock. Spend the rest of the afternoon with your kids. There are so many ways you can make your time work for you and reduce the pressure on you. Create some pressure release valves so that the overwhelm can escape and you can feel more in charge like the boss that I know you are. Have a great day. Bye.